Tommy, how you doing? And can't wait to get into you getting back on the mound. But I do like to bring the conversation in. Hold on, have you? Hold on, has he ever had candy pop? No way, no way he's had candy pop. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Candy, Why do you candy say pop? That? Because he's a finely no, tuned I, athlete. I've, we never, I've I've never had those. But what's up, guys? You, you uh, should the Twix he, one he right here. Dessert though. Huh? Yeah, but but they're it. finally they're not allowed First to have off, those things in the clubhouse. Yes, they now. are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Yeah, Tommy, do you guys have anymore. snacks in the clubhouse anymore? Not anymore. They... Dang. Well, he's on the Yanks. They're giving him lobster, shrimp, Dude, steak. We I remember when I was with we had Ozzy again. It was the whole health food revolution started. The clubhouses would have to take all the ice cream out, and then we would come in town, and they'd they'd be like, "Oh, we can get rid of all the ice cream." They throw all the crappy food back out there. We <laughs> and then, then the then the Yankees would come in. They had to take it all out, and we come back, and there's all the ice cream and all the candy pop. So yeah, it worked out for you guys. Well, no, they don't do it anymore though, because these are finally tuned out. You won a now. championship though. I know, they're finally tuned athletes now. Anyway, Tommy, <laughs> um, did you hear what we were talking about with the Phils with like the little pitch clock situation where they were kind of waiting? Um, in Philadelphia versus everywhere else. And it actually hurt the home team more. So it's not like, you know, other players are pissed. And it's, I mean, it was a conspiracy theory that proved true, but it's not one that's like helping the home team. Wanted to get your thoughts on if you're paying attention to that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw it. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely uh, kind of funny that, you know, it, it actually ended up not helping them at all. So, but I could definitely see, you know, maybe, you uh, they're supposed to be what what's unbiased you know uh who knows you never know how those clock guys are up there so who knows <laughs> maybe like i saw aj maybe you know he had, it's like i got a cough and then oh sorry now i'm gonna hit the button so <laughs> <you never know. laughs> tommy tommy the word is neutral they're supposed to be neutral <laughs> they're neutral if, that's if it. you were the pitch clock guy would you be neutral or would you be or would you be like dude this guy parked in my spot I'm definitely hitting it quick. <laughs> I, I feel like I am the wrong person to have something to do, like do something neutral for sure. Yeah, we're human this beings. Was, if this was like uh, this was like an Eagles game. Yeah, everything against them now. If it was <laughs> earlier in the earlier in my career, yeah, I'd be trying to do anything I could to cheat to try to get them to win. You know, that's tired, Tommy. That's tired. <laughs> Wait, are you an Eagles fan or not? Oh, no, CJ no, wasn't on no, the first just, time around with Tommy. Just, Tommy, just brought, is, I, had, I had to do that for Kratzy just right up. Yeah, right? he's not an Eagles fan. <laughs> not anymore. No, so long gone. Wait, how do you? You don't just switch. Yeah, you just turn it down. We did this last time. You're gonna have to watch back. Okay, sorry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I, I want to talk. Let, let's get to. Hey, you're back on the mound, dude. You know, you had to sit around, wait it out. So how pumped are you to be back with the squad? And, I mean, frankly, I know the bullpen's really good with the Yanks, but with Judge out, not as much offense going on. They need you. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited. I mean, finally get back out on the mound, especially in New York. is uh, It was special. So, uh, I mean, pretty much I'm feeling good. You know, we've had a – we've gone through a slew of injuries here again. But uh, it's kind of just next man up. Like uh, Kratzy remembers in 19, 18, we would have all these injuries, but then guys would step up. So we're, uh, I feel like we got a few guys like that right now. And it's uh, the team is going to keep on riding with it. I mean, we had a tough series this past weekend with the Red Sox, but uh, I think we're, we're, we're doing good and we're in the right, the right track right now. So it's just getting over these little injuries and, you know, guys getting back right. So we're all heading in the right direction. Can you win without Judge? I think so. I mean, obviously he is a big part of our offense. I mean, it's a no-brainer. We all see it. But, uh, I mean, as long as you uh, – I feel like we, we had to change our offensive approach a little bit without him, obviously, because, uh, you know, he's a big home run bopper. He's our guy in the, you know – number two hitter. He's our best hitter. So we've had to make a few adjustments. I mean, like I said, we're getting a few guys back now. We need them to kind of, you know, get, get rolling and uh, get used to playing every day again. Like uh, G just got back. Donaldson got back. Uh, we're still obviously Bader should be back soon. So once we get our guys in the lineup again, we can get, get a little, uh, you know, momentum here going forward. Can you win without Mike Harkey as your bullpen coach? In, in the- <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, 
it'd be it'd be tough times without him out there. They were that so that we we didn't have him for two games. Uh, what was it the series? Right? Yep. Friday and Saturday, he wasn't out there with me. It was it was weird. It happens every <laughs> once in a while, but it's weird. Has he given you any cl- any good quotes? Because he's oh, he's gosh. known to say some things like. I remember he used to be with the White Sox, and he would he would say, "Man, that's an optical conclusion." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? He does have some. He does. He, oh, shit, what's, he's got something that he always says. I can't even remember what the hell it is now. Damn, I wish I was prepared for that one. He's got some good stuff. I mean, he'll keep, he'll keep you laughing pretty much the whole time. It's awesome out there with him. He's literally one of the big reasons why I even came back. No really? way. He was a he was oh, he yeah. part of the recruiting pitch? Like, did he call you and say, "Hey, dude, it's an optical conclusion. <laughs> yeah. that you land back here." Uh so he reached out to me. I think right as the season ended, right around there. And then, I mean, I talked to him here and there over the last couple of years because he would check in, see how I was doing and stuff. Because uh, we always had a good relationship, and I know his uh, his wife and my wife and uh, his daughters and kids they. They would talk to my wife, so like we were always like you know filled in on what's going on with each other's families and stuff. So it was a uh, he was a big big reason why. That's good. That's good. Now the Yankees have a strict facial hair policy. Are you going to get in trouble because you got a little growth going on? Will they come get <laughs> well, you even right? though you don't have a game today? Uh, no, not today. <laughs> not going to find me. <laughs> <laughs> so you can take the day off from shaving because you have an off day. Yeah. Oh yeah. So like tomorrow, I, I didn't even realize this, but I'm shaving every other day now. It used to be like, oh, I could wait every third, fourth day. It's every other day. You're much oh, more. It's awful. Yeah, you've grown up so much. How is puberty treating you? That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish it was like the the old days where you know you'd have to shave every maybe once a week. That was good stuff. Do you check the mirror and go like, oh, am I Yankee efficient here? Is this acceptable yeah. for me to go into work? Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you'll you'll walk by the bathroom and you look at the mirror and you go, uh, that's probably, probably got to get rid of this. The worst is when you get Booney to come up to you, he goes, you got to shave. Like right up <laughs> in your face. You, you going to shave today? Gives you one of those. It's nice. That's when you know it's a little too long. So then you shave in the clubhouse? Oh, yeah. That's fine. Right then? You, should, you have to go right... Yeah, it's probably, it's probably a good idea to go probably right then and there and get it over with. Would listen, he, listen to Skip. No, yeah. would he not pitch you because your beard is too long? Well, he's not going to say no. He goes to shave. No, I mean, what I if he didn't? Think... That is true. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't test those waters. Uh, this, this guy would. No, I'd be like <laughs> this guy would. How exact? I figure. I have it figured out on like an electric razor exactly how long I could have it until Boone was like, "Hey, you should shave," and I'd be like, "Hey, Boone, your hair's gray now." <laughs> it's an extra job for Booney versus everyone else. For real, he's got to size up twenty six players every day. Oh, no. Can you imagine if, let's say, Aaron Judge one day was like, "I'm going to grow a beard," and he's like, "Hey, Ooh. you're going to shave," and Aaron, Aaron Judge is like, "Hey, Boone, fuck off." What would happen? <laughs> We're going to find you? Oh, okay, here's 500 a day for the rest of the year. It would be the ultimate Won't even off. miss it. Won't even miss it. God, speaking, of puber- speaking of puberty, Tommy, you, your bedroom, you're, you're obviously in your apartment in New York. Very white walls. Can we mix in like a poster yeah. or something on the wall? Got nothing going on. Nothing. <laughs> we can't All even. We can't, in the world. We, we can't get like a poster or some sort of picture on a wall? Nah, I think me and my wife are over it. We're not even worried about decorating. I get, <laughs> I, I feel like you really once you have the kids, you just kind of just all bets are off. Let's give up. At home, I'll worry about like my house at home, but here, nah, whatever. You could do, you could do one day, a couple hours. You walk around, you go to one of those art galleries. You go, oh, this looks cool, and you go, oh, two hundred sixty-two thousand dollars. Oh, okay, I'll see you later. No, you go to you go yeah. to Spencer Gift and you buy the poster with the. With the thing you have to stare at and see if you can see the ship just to get rid of the white on the wall. <laughs> I, I enjoy the, your... the echoing, you know? Yeah. It's you can nice. hang one of your jerseys. You can hang one of your jerseys. <laughs> you have to... <laughs> on that your wall. True. I want a crash jersey. That's what I want. On the wall. No, 
They only they only yes. have jerseys of mine. They don't have actual jerseys. Jersey <laughs> player. Tommy, you just came off a of rehab. Oh. You just came off a of rehab for a little while. What did you buy the boys down there? Did you get the boy did you hook the boys up? Because you're on a two year deal. So I gotta know. Oh yeah. We're gonna judge you based on what you got for the boys. <laughs> I've been buying way too much spread the last few years. That's all I got to say. <laughs> uh, it's part of it. It's part. It is. It is. I mean, you, you learn from the older guys. So let's see. Where was I? Uh, I didn't have to cover spread in double A. So that was good. That, I had uh, We had Donaldson and Stanton there. So oh, they, yeah. uh, they hooked that one up. Uh, so when I was in Scranton, I think I got them Mission Barbecue. Oh, that that's a good place. I, yeah, that's right. That place is crazy. That place is unreal. It smacks. You are exactly right. Like I ate it. I yeah. I wasn't gonna eat it after I ate. It. I go, holy shit. Well, <laughs> I haven't had ribs like that in forever. It's been a while. That place definitely smacks. I liked it. And then, uh, so that was in Scranton. And then when I was in Tampa, I got them Renzos. Some it's a steakhouse in Tampa. I have, I have no idea. Burns? Did you, you didn't get them burned? It's good. I didn't want to do Burns. I think Burns is way overrated. Why? Overrated. Lie. Have you met Scott Braun? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm overrated. No, you're lying. I'm a, I'm a more of a. No, you I like lie Charlie's. And I cover for you. What was that, Tommy? Charlie's. I'm a Charlie's guy. Really? Charlie's Steakhouse? Yeah. I like yeah. Charlie's more. Okay. Interesting. All right. It's cheaper, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't. Is it cheap? I don't even know. Oh, I know. Oh, I then the burns. The steak is better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I I I'll take your word for it. I I disagree, but that's okay. We all have <laughs> opinions about. It. How, I want to know how a guy. Uh, I got. Well, there's two questions. One, I want to know how a guy from New York ends up at Lynn University in Boca, because that's that's a long way from New York to Boca Raton. And, oh yeah. So ex please explain that. As I'm from Florida, I was born in New York. We know about Lynn up north. You do? Yes. Oh, and then how do you end up at Lynn University when you're from New York? So, long story short, my dad is crazy, pretty much. So, he would drag me to all these, you know, showcases, camps. So, we went down to Florida one summer for like two weeks. I went to the FAU camp, and originally they were all over me. They're, they loved me. Uh, something happened where I had a falling out with like paperwork deadlines or something. I don't know. And then... I kind of ran ran out of options coming towards. My dad wanted me to sign early in November, so I ended up emailing the Lynn coach because they loved me at the camp, and uh, the guy was right back to me in no, 10 minutes. So I was like, all right, cool. He's like, yeah, we got we got some money left. We'll I'll send over all this stuff and get it going. Next thing you know, I was going to Lynn. So. And uh, I basically Perfect. just wanted to go – I wanted to go down south for, for baseball out of high school. I was done playing – baseball in March when it was literally 25 degrees, but Understood. now it doesn't bother me. So nice. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. But that's I was in New York. I was in New York this past week. I was there Tuesday and Wednesday. Do you have lung cancer like I do? And from Wednesday when the <laughs> sky was orange, because I, after Wednesday, yeah. I felt like I, I've never smoked a cigarette, but after Wednesday, I felt like I had a whole carton of them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. That, that was, Air was not great, uh, so I've never seen that before. I mean, I, I know it's like a if you if you're from California, that's like a, a regularity, I guess, out there. That's insane to me. I didn't know that was a thing, but it was bad. Like it got really bad. Like <laughs> where you're at the field and the sky is just orange. It's like we're it's like almost like we're in the apocalypse right there. I was about to be like, should I get a should I get going home and start packing up and you know head home and start boarding. <laughs> Start boarding up the doors and stuff. What are we doing here? Yeah, I was I was there. I put I played golf in it. I played golf that that morning in it. And at the turn, it went it went from normal little cloudy to like the color of this helmet next to me. And I was like, oh, there's something wrong here. Did you guys talk about maybe going home? No, we're we're we're, we're baseball players. We don't quit golf. <laughs> we keep going. We keep grinding through. We don't stop. <laughs> but but then I wanted to, so then I'm staying at the White Sox team hotel. I get on the White Sox team bus. It was set to go at 3.45 to go over to Yankee Stadium. And the sky is orange. And I, there's no, I'm like, there's no way you guys are playing this game. You know? What were guys saying? So, I mean, for the Yankees, oh, yeah. this, this is home turf. Were you guys texting or hanging out already and being like, no chance? 
yeah, everybody showed up and people were like, this game's canceled. It's like, no brainer. And that was at the time, I think, I don't even know what air quality, all that number of stuff means, but I think it was at like 190, whatever. Supposedly that's crazy high and like super hazardous. And then by the time that they finally, I think, banged the game, it was over 300 or something, uh, which was severely bad for you. So, I mean, <laughs> even when guys showed up, they were like, this is not good. Guys were like telling Saying in the clubhouse, you could smell the smoke in the clubhouse. It was it was a disaster of a day, that's for sure. So I I mean, luckily you know we uh we didn't have to play in that. I'm sure that would have been great. The guys are sucking in all that air and huffing and puffing. Who knows what would happen after a game like that? Hey, I did it. So I asked if you had lung cancer like you I did. did. Yeah. You know what I have, Tommy? You know, have you ever seen Zoolander? Oh, I have the black yeah, lung. The black lung oh, pop. Oh, <laughs> but you were in there one day, Derek. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, people on the West Coast go, this is what we call September. <laughs> That's what my friends Dude, on the West Coast I know say. they were st- – I'm telling you, I don't think it's ever been as bad. I've never seen a sky – and Tommy backed me up. That was the color that it was. I sent you guys pictures. It literally was oh, orange. It looked like Blade Runner. When Harrison Ford gets out of the car, Blade Runner, and the sky is like that orange color. You've never yeah. seen it before your time. Before Scott's time, Kratz gets it. Yeah. But our, our total recall when they're on Mars, that's what it looked like. It was it's apocalyptic. It was crazy. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it, ever. It's the first time I've ever seen anything like that in my life. Hey, only in New York, right? That's right. It was a memorable round of golf and a memorable day. I don't know. So now back to the Yankees. I, Kratz, back, I thought, no, let Kratz get in there. Ahead, yeah, yeah, Kratz. yeah. No, I just want. We were talking about Yankee Stadium and getting. It made me think about when you were when we were in the playoffs. I don't know if you'll remember what you did, but I want you to tell me what you did, and I'll fill in the parts that made me laugh when <laughs> we when we would hit a home run. You know how Yankee Stadium. So everybody knows Yankee Stadium has like the plexiglass where you sit, and then you can also sit on the bench where where Radley Haddad and Brownie would oh, sit. Yeah. And so anyway, we hit a home run. What does Tommy Canely do when we hit a home run after you're in, in the plexiglass? So I'm inside the bullpen is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm trying to think. There's a lot of suck that happen. You know, the <laughs> standard DX, stand up and suck it. So – Trying to remember, is this is this what year are we talking here, Chris? Seven, seventeen, seventeen. 17. When we're playing the Astros and the Astros and the and the Indians. We beat the Indians and then we beat the Astros at home. What I so this is I'm inside. Is this when I'm always running out and then I just bang into the glass and stuff? Yes. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's multiple times where I would. Run outside of the bullpen, give a give a couple suckets, run, jump off the plexiglass, possibly almost going through it multiple times, and then running back inside to Hart going, What the hell are you doing? And Tommy so. would run and Tommy would if you were in the plexiglass, if you're in the bullpen where it's like quieter, a ball would be going out, and as the ball's going out, Tommy would <laughs> run out and he'd be yelling, suck it. Suck it. And then he's like, and then people are throwing beer down from the bleachers. And he's like, these are my people. I love this. <laughs> he's trying to catch beer as it's flying down into the bullpen in his mouth. Tommy it's is great, the then. bleacher creatures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those guys are the best. I mean, I know opponents hate them, but I love I think they're great. They basically epitomized me growing up as a kid, essentially. More or less. Do you guys have conversations? Do you do, do you talk to them? Like, give me some of your best combos with the bleacher uh, creatures. So I haven't had any any really crazy conversations. I don't think at all. But maybe you know you get there was yelling down, Kaylee, Kaylee, we love you. And you just kind of give them, the, hey, what's up, dude? Every once in a while, I think you might have like a. 30 second conversation with one of them, but it's basically, they're just yelling at you the whole time. 
and then you kind of get in the way, and then they go crazy. Ah, it, ah this, those guys are wild out there. I, you know how it is. They're probably a few too many deep in just loving, loving life up in the bleachers, just yelling is, is, at everybody. Tommy, is that you at a Knicks, Rangers, Jets, Giants, some game? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, most likely. So, like, growing up, it would be like, yo, Messier, you're my ball glue. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Except for not the Rangers. Not the Rangers. Who was your, t- who was your team? <laughs> I uh, Buffalo, I'm a Buffalo Sabres fan. Sabres? Oh, Sabres, all right. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. He's the most eclectic sports fan of all time. <laughs> we, we, yep. hit, we hit on, like, I mean, we just hit on a little dab of it last time. This guy's got – He's got a messy jersey. He's got a, he's got you know indie car paraphernalia. He's got college football helmets. He's got NFL. Well, he doesn't he doesn't like the NFL anymore, AJ. If you didn't find out, because there's because there's only two there's only two good quarterbacks in the NFL: Joe Burrow and <laughs> Brett Favre. No, hey, Brett Favre's Brett not Favre. in here. <laughs> no, get out of here. Who was your other guy? No, I always tell Mahomes. I always tell him there's only one. Mahomes. Mahomes. Oh, one Mahomes. Okay. No, you said Burrow. I can read the text message. You said Burrow. <laughs> I've completely we changed were... thought on that one, though. Time, time's already <laughs> changed it. Wipe it out. I like one. it. We saw him take swings, and, and he was like, like, nah. Everybody way down there. That's how it is. Because <laughs> we were asking about Jalen Hurts, and he was like, nah. Yeah, he, he's out. Nah. Out on him. <laughs> out on that guy. Nah. Uh, hey, why Tommy, are you rocking the South? Why are you rocking yeah, the I wanna, South? Yeah, I got to ask him about that. Oh, yeah, a lot, of the, the South Troy a lot of the crowd it's, on YouTube is asking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, it's just uh, I decided to rock my old summer team, you know, when I was in high school in summer ball. So, you know, give them a little shout out. They uh, they deserve it. I, uh, You know, the coach there, he's done, they've done so much for me, you know, growing up. Uh so like when I would play for their uh, summer league, the summer team for them, you know, it's you got to pay for it. So back in the day, kind of, you know, didn't have too much money, my pop, so I couldn't afford it. They would just kind of let me play. So and then they do all this stuff for me, getting me into, you know, gyms to throw when I was in college in the minor leagues, you know, places to work out, all that kind of stuff. And now my, uh, my old coach, Kevin Rogers, he's got a building that I go to work out and I help out with all the younger kids, you know, the college kids, high school kids that kind of come up to me, ask me all kinds of stuff. So usually when I'm there kind of during the morning and stuff, doing my workout and stuff, I, uh, you know, have conversations with all the kids and try to help them out as much as I can. Who's the best player to play for South Troy? Ooh, that's not me. Well, can you name, who do you, who can you name? Let's see. Best. I'm trying to think. Let's see here. Got to be Tim Stoffer. Better than better than Over Cheese. Really? Over than Grilly? Oh, that's right. Grilly, you're right. Totally forgot. Cheese. Yeah, never mind. Grilly for sure. Nah, Grilly. Yeah, hundred percent. I would say Grilly. Like, Get out of here, Stoffer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Stoffer. I mean, that is what it's got. It's it's those two. I put those two at the top. Who's got a better body Thanks. than? Tom Murphy. <laughs> oh, nobody. I mean, that guy is... <laughs> Tom's a house. <laughs> he's Come unbelievable. Guys, he's an absolute brick shit house. <laughs> Wait, you've got... I've, and I'm going to butcher the name in the Yanks org. Ben, how do you, does anyone know how to say it? You know what I'm talking about? I'm looking at the list right now. I haven't called a game with him, so I'm not calling games this year, so I'm not the pronunciation Oh, Ben Rotover, Rover, Rover it. Yeah, Rope, yeah. Rotvert, Robert. Oh, no, Robert? Yeah. Yeah. Roy Vett? Roy Vett? He, he's not listed on the website. No, he's in the he's Wait. in the org. He's he's stacked. Oh no, we're talking about South Troy guys. He's I'm just looking stacked at South. Oh, I know, but you talked about Tom Murphy, and I was talking about a catcher in his, oh, okay, in his okay, organization. Okay, okay. Oh, that's Jack. That's why I'm getting confused. Yeah. Okay. You know uh, Ben. Yeah. Tell we're, him about Ben. Oh yeah, yeah, Ben. Yeah, Ben. We call him the guy with the big biceps. You know, that's what he's known. Ben's for. massive. <laughs> Dude's huge. You got you got any yeah. Diaz biceps? Ooh, yeah, I think so. I think Even so. though I was talking to Ben the one day, he's kind of—they're small. He's small right now. He feels small. Because he's been hurt. Can't lift. 
He had, I don't remember what it was, but he's had some, yeah, he had a, some muscle injuries. He had injuries. like an aneurysm in his shoulder or something. I don't know what it was. Hmm. Tom, Tommy, yes. two, two things about Jason Grilly, the best player of South Troy. One, I played with him 97 in Hawaii, and then I played with him at the end of his career. He, he signed with the pen that his dad gave him. He signed every contract from then on with the same pen. He had to have this pen. It's oh, wow. Got, it, it, so when we signed, we signed with the Braves together. He flew in, signed his contract. He had to have a certain pen, which I was like, okay, that's weird. I just give me a bit and I'll sign whatever. Yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> and then two, he was pitching for the White Sox in spring training in 2004, Ozzie Gans first year. He gives up like a nine spot in the first inning. They go to take him out. Ozzie brings out sunscreen to the whole infield. And is like, here, who needs oh sunscreen, God. boys? On the mound. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then he became and then he became a closer and, and took off. But it was he Love honestly that. came he came out and goes, Boys, you've been out here for a while. Here, you need sunscreen. He had to spray sunscreen. He's like <laughs> spraying all imagine? the infielders down. He did it. It happened. Yeah. I was that would never fly down. They'd be like, Oh, 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 I got gotcha. you. Wow, I like that. Can yeah, you imagine was, Ozzy coming? I I would love to see it. Booty comes out and just globs sunscreen in everybody's hands. Here you go, guys. <laughs> Shave and wear your sunscreen, kids. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> like a teacher oh, that would be or something. Fantastic. Oh, that's great. Parent. That's hey, great. Tommy, great to see you, dude. Great to catch up. We appreciate the time you know. as always, man. Keep crushing it out there. Have fun. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it always. I need, I'm going to need some of that candy pop. I see the yeah. Twix one. Do yeah, you want? Yeah. Can, can we send you? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Okay, done. Done. All in on you it. can put it on the walls. <laughs> it's good. Stay. It's good, dude. It's addicting. Like now, you look at the nutrition. You're like 150 calories per serving. How many are in, how many are in a bag? About five. You're like, okay, so that's 750 calories. <laughs> yeah, we're whole thing. Whole thing yeah, gone. Still, still with the. I still want all the bad food, man. They took it all oh, away. Yeah. It's like he's you're working out. You're yeah. working out. It's fine. Yeah. After you get yeah. a good workout in, get after it. Shoot for the tie, kid. Yeah. Shoot for the tie. Work yeah. out. You'll, you'll, you'll love it, Tommy. You'll love it. It yeah. slaps. We got you. Know you. We got you. Perfect. Good to see you, man. We'll see you in a few weeks. Yes, sir. Awesome. Yes, sir. No problem. Don't forget yeah, to share. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, dude. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I'll send All you right. a Kratz jersey, too. <laughs> <laughs>